All right, in this section we're going to be talking about continuity. There are three requirements for continuity listed here. So first of all, f of x has to be defined. Second one, the limit as x approaches c of f of x has to exist. And the third, they have to be equal to each other. When a function is continuous, it's usually very uninteresting. The cooler examples we're going to see are actually where it turns out to be not continuous. So, let's look at this example here. I've got a graph, and I'm looking at two places, at c equals 3, so right there, and also at c equals 4, here. At c equals 3, f of c would be the value that corresponds to an x value of 3. Looks like it's maybe 3.4. And then I've got the limit as x approaches c. Well, the idea of the limit is uh, if I look on my x-axis, I want to approach c. Right? So I'm getting closer and closer here. Well, that corresponds with a segment of our, our f of x from here to here, right? You can see how those are, those are lined up. I don't really want that to have a line up there, though. Well, this, this segment of the graph here, it also corresponds on the y-axis to what's happening here. So graphically speaking, from below 3 as I approach, it corresponds to these y values. Now, if I take a look at it, say I come from, from 5, and I approach 3 from this direction now. So now I've got my x values as I'm approaching 3 from the right. Well, that corresponds with this segment of our graph right in here. Well, that also corresponds with this segment on our y-axis, this interval. So I can see that the, on the, the black writing here, I'm approaching 3.4. And as I look oh, on the blue writing coming from the right, I'm approaching 3.4. So this would be my limit. That's how we arrive at this limit being 3.4. You know what? I'm going to write this one in green. I want to do the same thing for uh, c equals 4. So here, I've got a hole in the graph. So if I wanted to find the value, I've got to come all the way up here to see that this value is 5. So if c equals 4, then f of c is 5. But the same as we did before, if I'm looking at this limit, I'm approaching this x value which corresponds to a segment of our graph that corresponds to a segment of our y-axis. Coming from the other direction, I've got a segment of the x-axis that corresponds to a segment of our graph that corresponds to the segment of the y-axis. Well, all of these are telling me that as x approaches 4, y approaches 3. So if I go back and fill this in, my limit here is 3. So here I have an example of what it looks like when a function is continuous. And over here, my function is not continuous. I want to point out that if you just look at this graph and didn't do any of this analysis, the continuous areas are the ordinary areas, and the not continuous section is the interesting part. It's the one where there's a hole and a different value for the function. They're pretty easy to spot before you even begin a problem like this. Um, here's another example we could look at. Uh, here, if I wanted to find the value of f of 5, at, at 5 on my x-axis, I have a value here and no value here, right? Because th this one's a hole. So there's no, no value of the function. This one's solid, I do have value of the function here. So 
This corresponds with 2 at 5. So I can say that f of 5 is 2. Well, if I take a look at this limit, I can compare a limit from the left and a limit from the right. From the left, that's coming this way, that corresponds with this segment of my graph. And it's approaching a value right here, 6. If I look from the right, on my graph I'm approaching from the right, and that corresponds with this value, 2. So from the right, the limit is 2. From the left, the limit is 6. And when those don't match, this limit doesn't exist. And so this would be an example of not continuous. But of course it's not continuous at 5. I mean, look at the graph. It's going along right here, there's a giant jump, and all of a sudden it continues off down here. That's not a very continuous looking graph. Uh, last thing, I'll just run through this real quick. Uh, I, I want you to get the idea of these limits looking at a, at a graph here. So, if I'm approaching 2, coming from both sides, that means I'm looking at these two pieces of my, of my graph. Everything is approaching 6, right? So my limit, from, my limit from the left, coming in this way, is 6. My limit from the right, coming this way, is 6. The limit is 6. Continuous here, right? Because you're matching up and actually the value of the function is 6 as well. If I go to this next one, at 3 I'm coming here from both sides. Well, my limit from, my limit from the left is 2. My limit from the right is going to come in this way, right? Coming in from the right matches with this portion of the graph. This limit is 4. So this limit does not exist. Uh, then let's move over here. Let's, we'll move over here to the, the point 5. Coming from the left, coming from the right. Uh, coming from the left, coming from the right. This is all approaching 4. So the limit from the left is 4, the limit from the right is 4, the limit is 4. Once again, continuous here. Nothing crazy happening in there at 5. Uh, last one, I'll switch back to blue. Give yourself some space in here. Coming from the left, coming from the right. Coming from the left, I've got this limit would be approaching 4, and coming from the right, coming this way, it's going to follow this graph coming from the right. It's approaching this value here, which is 6. So from the left it's 4, but from the right it's 6. They don't match, so the limit doesn't exist. If you want to refer to the limit from the left and from the right separately, you use this notation here. As I write my limit out, limit as x approaches c, this negative sign right here means from the left. Positive sign right here, this means from the right. Just a notation you could use to refer to exactly what we were discovering here. That even though the limit didn't always exist, the limit from the left and the limit from the right, they did always exist because they're they don't have to meet any other value, it's just whatever they're approaching, that's what they're approaching.